welcome. My name's David and I'm here with Ron from Catan. Hey. How Hi. You doing? Good We've been having a natter, haven't we? Have about indeed. all kinds of different crazes and things that are going on. Absolutely. But we've been ignoring. I say ignoring, it's quite hard to ignore. Yeah, it's kind of blocking the sun, really. <laughs> <laughs> we've got Catan Starfarers. I'm very excited. I'm so excited. So Starfarers released a long time ago, but you guys have yeah. just redone it. And this is, this is that. This is the brand new edition. Yeah, I'm, I'm 2000 really was the original one, so 2000. almost 20 years ago. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> So of course, the base game of Catan, hugely mm -hmm. influential, has yes. tons and tons of fans all over the world. Absolutely. Millions. Millions. Billions. Yeah. Billions? That's, Billions a, that's a claim. Are, yeah. We're not McDonald's yet. <laughs> <laughs> Give it time. But what's different about Starfarers? Starfarers, um, well, for one, it's in space instead of on an island. That's, that's, that's a difference. Kind of says it in the title. Uh, but uh, you are doing a lot more movement. So is Catan on an island, you have fixed points, you're building roads to those. In this one, you're actually flying out to find resources and build resource gathering sites and flying. Lots of flying. Lots of flying. Well, because it's space. Yeah, of course. Exactly. Of course. So I can't wait to get into it. Yeah. Will you help me with the lid? Because it's it's a big one. There you go. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh. So much friction. <laughs> no, we, 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 this there, is genuine struggle right here. It's a tight lid. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Any second now. Oh, there we go. So if you guys at home, this, this is the front of the box. Yeah. And as you can see, we've got the spaceships flying off into the sun. Mm -hmm. Do they have, do they have, do they have names in the spaceships? Um, no, you can name them yourself. Oh, well. I mean, there's names for the types of ships you have, but it's not like the good ship lollipop or something like that. Well, that's, that's what it's going to be called now. I've got the good ship lollipop yeah. and I'm going to call this um, the round base. There you go. I mean, coming up with names is not my forte. <laughs> if you hadn't, if you hadn't guessed, I neither. I had to go back to old musicals. But I mean, I mean, solid. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you on that reference. So what have we got? So we look inside. It's the first thing we have right here, of course, the rules for staff errors. Yep. Now, one thing I'd be surprised about is actually not a huge amount of rules. We've got. It's like a booklet, but it's really it's yeah. well structured, isn't it? it most Catan rules will fit on four-ish pages, um, but that's just the core rules. The intricacies come with your almanac, like, well, how does rule X and rule Y work when you come into this situation? Gotcha. Situational rules, or that's all covered in almanac. Ah, so this is the basics, and then this, if I get lost, I just refer to this one. Refer to that one. All the examples of anything you can imagine are in there. Mm, there we go. Then, the next thing we have inside, I'm noticing the board, Ron. Yeah, very so, different than the original. Yeah, is this modular? Completely. Um, so it puzzles together. <laughs> it puzzles this. together, not like that. Yeah, <laughs> not like that. There we go. Uh, and we'll pop this one. Oh, you're testing my See, puzzle skills there's now. There's itty bitty numbers on the side. Oh, okay. This, go like this one, is, two, three. This is just this your works. numbers. Were you good at maths? Um, I mean, the, the evidence is pointing towards not yeah. at this point. Um, okay, that one. I've got one here. Planetsies go here. One should one be down here. At the end. Ah, oh, there we go. We got there. Let's. Uh, Way. I'm gonna go long. Or should go we put it wide? this way? Let's yeah. Let's it, match their table. Let's see so I'm gonna have a quick tidy. There we go. Look at that. That is a big go. old board. It is. And so these are our starting Catanian homeworlds here, uh -huh. and then we will traverse space to uh, these giant spots. Are they black holes? They're not. They'll be filled with the modular board. So this is oh. the frame and the starting spaces. And then if you look back in that box, dig out some more bits. <gasps> oh, well, let's, let's, let's all look back in this box. So all what right. else have we got here? We've got a card tray. Card trays. And these are really nice. Yeah. This isn't something you often get in games, you know. Oh, this uh, for this Catan, we figured is pretty important. It helps fill the box. It's, it helps sort the cards. There's a lot of card oh, trading look. and whatnot. And you've got the, We've um, got the exchange rate right. printed right on it. Uh, we have this question mark here because there's a, a random draw pile where you can go to get random cards. So questions equal random. Nice. Now I'm immediately distracted towards the giant spaceships. Yes, we have loads. Um, should we come back to those? No. Let's do it right now. Right Let's in. do the big, the big one. So they kind of lock in there. Oh my goodness. So we've got four. So four big old spaceships right here. 
Now these were in the original. They were, a little bit different design. The original came pre-glued. They were a little more steampunky looking. These are more, a little more Buck Rogers-y. Uh, or um, the diff big difference too in this one, they can open up. Oh, uh, how do you do that? I like that. They just kind of twist. There's a oh, little locating oh. arrow right here that shows you. Oh, um, where to, where to. Part pop it and lock together. it. Right. Um, the other good the thing, the other ones had kind of a reputation of their poor plastic quality. When mm. you drop them, they broke. These don't. So. I, I mean, I can confirm. It's very solid. It feels yeah. like I could squeeze that and that's yeah. not going anywhere. Yeah, these are right. solid. Modern plastics. <laughs> modern <laughs> plastics. Okay, so we've got four of these. Yeah. And we've got colors on the bottom. Col player color. Oh, player color. Gotcha. And... So you said you can open them. What do you mm -hmm. put in them? Well, so that little bag over there is full of itty bitty little balls. So not these uh, no, they, they don't eat those. Um, they the ball the rockets are used to determine how far your ship will move on your turn. So mm -hmm. these are and there's a little black ball in there to indicate whether or not you have a random encounter or adventure. So first thing you got to do is open these up, and each of these rockets gets. One black ball, one yellow ball, oh. one red ball. Oh. There's extras. One blue <laughs> ball, and For that very reason. One more yellow ball. Okay. So two yellows. Uh huh. Um, but yeah, we actually give you extra for everything. So you could, if you want, uh, play around with the probabilities of oh, the rockets to change your game experience. You can do that. Ah. Which is something this one doesn't. This offers that the old one didn't. You want to do some? Uh, yeah. So so. Pop or open. Oh, hang on. Just kind of give it a little twist and a pull. Twist and a pull. There we go. Uh, let's plonk him in there. Yep. One of each. One of each. So I've got a yellow, a blue, a black. Oh, no. A black, uh, orange. And one more yellow. And one more yellow. Yep. I was like, is that all the colors? I forgot yep. more I've done. That's awesome. Cool. That's it. Well, shall we keep doing or we'll just uh, play with that other unboxy fun? Let's see what else we've got because there's right. a lot in here. Um, we've got... Now one thing, because we have played this at Gen Con, mm -hmm. I stopped by and we had a go. Yeah. I remember putting things on the side of my spaceship. Exactly. And that was like brilliant. My fun. favorite bit. Yeah, from this. We'll also use this tray to hold our bits oh, too. Okay. Does this go in here? That one. This one? Yep. These there we guys. Go. One of the big ones. This one's for the cards here on the end. Uh, are there any others to go in here? Uh, yeah, there should be. There's, oh, you got blue and red together. That's what's going on. I'm sorry. That's I've let okay. you down, Ron. You're fine. You're fine. So red's over there, blue's over here. Oh, no, I've still let you down. Yeah, I'm still yeah. mixing them. It's all I can't good. do anything. This is bad. So what are these? These are things these that you are pop different on the outside. upgrades to your mothership. This is called a mothership. Mm -hmm. It's got its name. You shake it. You look at the little balls underneath, and you add up the values of those to see how yours goes. If you get a little black ball like that, then yeah. you're going to have to choose a random adventure card or draw one Ooh. off the top of the deck. And what kind of stuff can I expect in the adventure? Adventures are... You will meet space pirates. You might fly into a wormhole. You might have to rescue a ship that's hurtling into a sun. There's all kinds of different things. That's, that that's not in You might time. get to reshuffle the deck. Okay. That's their I mean, if, if it's <laughs> like you're a lost cause, just reach out with Well, then you get another adventure. Oh, so, yeah. So yeah, yeah. if you have to put in some community time, you might as well have some fun for it. You might as well have some fun. So what are these? Those are upgrades called boosters. Mm -hmm. So when you take them, they clip onto the base of your rocket like so. Key oh, on. yeah. So these are move your ships faster. So mm -hmm. you take your movement uh, total from the balls, plus one for every booster you have on. So if you have five boosters, you have plus five to your movement. Uh, so makes your rockets go faster, they travel quicker across the game board. Nice. Uh, these guys are pods, uh, mm -hmm. freight pods. They go on the sides. Freight pods you use when you will encounter uh, different alien beings that are living out here in the galaxies. Oh, what kind of alien beings are we talking about? Well, we have like the green folk, you have the merchants, you have the scientists, and I can't remember what the other one is. Mm, it's a mystery. We it's have to find mystery. out. Exactly. There's and then, travelers. 
We've I'll come up with the other one. <laughs> yeah. We'll find it. Yeah. Uh, we've got these as well. These lasers? Uh, cannons, we call them. Cannons, uh, okay, yeah. cannons. Uh, they could be lasers, but yeah, they go on to the front. So if you have to fight space pirates on your encounters, you're going to need these. Yeah. Uh, you who want to set up trade relationships with different alien cultures, you're going to need freight. Mm. Uh, if you want to move really fast and go, escape from things or go fast, you need boosters. Gotcha. gotcha that's gotcha. all your bits. This is the this is my this is my favorite bit because yeah. you can just kind of customize it to your to your heart's content, and you buy these f similarly to how you buy things in Catan. Right. So, so just like you would pay resources to get a road or build mm. a settle a settlement, these are things you could buy oh. uh, by spending resources to upgrade your ship. And then this mothership represents what all of your fleet on the board has. So instead of doing out each every little one, you put it all on this big thing. We've all got it. Yeah. Now, speaking of resources, so we aren't seeing wheat and sheep in nope. this one. They're, I think, buried under this, if I recall. So much stuff. Oh, oh. So these are the encounter cards. Encounter cards. Right so they're the ones that you turn over when you get a black yep. ball. Like that. And, oh, it has lots of different like options on it? Yeah, well, I ask you a question. So if it's your encounter, I'd say, you encounter a merchant. Mm. You can offer zero to three resources as a gift. Pay your offering to the supply before continuing. Well, is he a nice merchant? Well, I don't know. How much would you like to pay him? <laughs> <laughs> you just, this, this guy just asks for money. Um, I'll go middle of the road. I'll pay him two. Pay him two. So you'd pay your resources to the bank. Mm -hmm. uh, the merchant is a prince and is satisfied. Oh, he's a prince? Yeah, he's and a he's prince. asking me for money. Yeah, yeah exactly. Of it. Well, you know, some princes are down on their luck, I guess. Uh, you receive one resource of your choice from the supply nice. and one fame metal piece. Oh, so you get I some got fame. famous from yeah, that. Well, you know. If you trade, give money to princes, you got to get a little fame, I suppose. Mm. So, there you go. So depending on what, how many I would have donated, I would have had different results. On Correct. The if you gave him nothing, he would have been very insulted. Mm. He would sabotage your ship. So choose one of the, your ships in in play. It does not get to move, and you oh. would lose a lose bit of fame. fame. Well, you know, you don't want to disapprove. He's a come easy guy, <laughs> and it's not always it's not always giving people stuff, is it? There's lots of different no, things you can it do. It could be, you know, pirates. I mean, the, the, there's a lot of different kinds. You know, here's, oh, I see here's an a explosion. You oh, approach wormhole. Uh, do you attempt a space jump? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm in space. Sure. Okay, so we're going to space. So compare your speed. So mm -hmm. add your boosters. Yeah. With the player on your right, you both shake your ships. And I have a movement of three, and you have uh, three, four. Okay. But I have one more is four. Uh -huh. How many boosters? None. So we're tied. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, is your speed equal to or greater than the other player? Yes, it is. Choose one of your ships. That ship may immediately make a space jump. So a space jump isn't explained in the card, but it is explained oh, in the right. almanac. Space jump just means pick your ship up, put it anywhere on the board you like. That's really good. Anywhere. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Anywhere. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, well, we won't go through any more of those, sure. um, un the unexplained mystery deck, because that's half the fun, isn't it? It's exactly. Exploring what's in there. And there's still more, there's still more in here, yeah, you How have loads. you packed all of this stuff in here? Very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got these. We've got these. Player pieces. I'm ge yeah, guessing by the four different colors we've got going on. But they're not, it's not like in the base guitar where you just get sticks and um, no, nope. yeah, these are fully cities. molded little plastic bits. Um, we have a lot wow. of different things here. You have your uh, settlements, mm -hmm. your colonies. They're in this game. Ooh, so um, I'm going to show the guys at home this. So if we just well, let's build the rest of the board. So it looks all <laughs> you, you're like in, in that bin there. You'll find these little oh, trilobe these bits. Trilobe, nice word. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So do you want me to put them Yeah, randomly? we can put them down randomly. In the game, uh, on the backs, they either have two stars mm -hmm. or single stars. So okay. you'll notice there's kind of a little Milky Way galaxy dividing the planet here. Oh, yep. Um, so single stars go on this side, mm -hmm. double stars go on that side. Right, so the um, good stuff is in the... Which is different stuff. Different um, stuff. Okay. And uh, generally, things that are harder to deal with are that way. Okay. You could, like all Catan things, totally randomize it. That's one of the... The old board was solid with printed planetary things, and you mm. only change the numbers on them. This one, where the planet's locations are, where the aliens are, is completely randomized. Mm. So um, just start flipping those over and loading okay, them. Okay, here we go. Let's flip them up. Oh, flip, flip you, them Yeah, if you want. Way? Sure. 
<laughs> just to like, show the board. Okay, sure. There's many ways to play this. The first time you play it, it does suggest a particular board set up at the beginning and uh, configuration to the bits. Wow, let's put this. Guy out. Uh, this guy here. Uh, do you know what I, I actually really like is that there's empty space. Mm -hmm. Because some, sometimes you're just not going to get anything and you're like, right. oh, yeah. oh yeah. It's so space. if you're doing the exploration mode, mm. you're just like, oh, I'm going to go fly in to see what that is. Oh, oh it's just nothing. more space. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. So we've popped, plonked all the stuff out. So what kind of stuff are we seeing here? So we have different planets. Uh, so we have fuel planets. We have ore planets. We have food planets. Mm -hmm. We have uh, carbon planets. Mm -hmm. And then we have these ones here, which are called goods planets. Okay. Um, so if you dig the little resource cards out of there. Uh, yes. Else. I can indeed do that. Here we go. Oh, nope. This, is this not that? No, this they're, is more, they're very, more fun. Very large. There's all kinds of fun. Oh, what are they? These are your. Oh, it's telling me what to do. Play aid. This Handy. is how you deal with stuff. This is so, how you remember. Yeah. So you have your overview cards. Just your turn overview explains the turns, explains the value of the balls, and gotcha. how to do stuff. Your classic Catan building cost card shows you how, mm -hmm. what to spend on what, explains what the different resources are. And then this one's a victory points card. It shows all the different ways you can make victory points in the game. Nice. And a little spot here to keep your fame tokens. So oh, like, oh, that's cute. That's cute. Fills up the room on the card. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, we had some space. We had some we'll space. Put some stuff there. So these, these are the resource cards. That's the resource cards. And they go in the holder over there. Yep. These are the different alien races, so you can just oh, divide right. them up. Nice. So we've got Cornem. Yep. There. Those there. are scientists. These are the politicians. That's the one I forgot, the blue ones. Politicians. The rebar. Yep. They are... Well, that's this individual's name. Oh, is it his name? Yeah, everyone's got a different oh, name. Oh, well, we've got Rebar, Reom, Rihana, <laughs> <laughs> Rihano, and Rahal. Ooh. And then we have the green folk. Oh, you've got a different R on each yeah, of them. Yeah, everyone's got a... Look at Characters, that. lots of characters. It's the details. Oh, um, he looks very happy. Yeah. Okay, cool. So loads of different races, which is awesome. Resource piles. Okay. Um, so foods and goods. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put the goods in this two to one bin because they trade at a different ratio than all the other resources. Uh, red, 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 red. There we go. Ta-da! see there's an empty bin there. At the beginning of the game, you take five of each, shuffle it up, put them face down here. How okay. come? Um, because at the be each turn, players will get a certain amount of uh, random resources mm. in addition to the resource production you get from a die roll. Gotcha. So, so early on, you get a lot more free cards. Uh, think of it as some sort of you know charitable contribution to mm. your exploration or funding from the uh, Catanian homeworlds that help you start your, your exploration. Mm. Um, the more advanced you get, the more established you get, you get less and less of that. Hand. You don't need it anymore, do you? Exactly. You should yeah. live on your own. And that's that's what this is up here, yeah, this little track. Exactly. So, oh, yeah. So you can see. Start Beginning, more yeah. stuff. Start with two, then less. one. You're on your own. You're on your own. Oh. Mom and dad kicked you out. Into, the, no. into space. <laughs> into space. That's pretty harsh. So this is your victory point marker. Uh -huh. Everybody starts out with four, mm -hmm. like so. Cool. So, yes. Oh, yeah. Well, I was going to show you guys mm -hmm. what these were. Um, so Ron, what are, <laughs> Ron, what are <laughs> these? Lots of different bits. So we have settlements. Uh -huh. are really equivalent to settlements. They're colonies. Um, colonies settle between two planets like so. Okay. At the beginning of the game, you're going to have them on these home worlds, and as you fly your ships out, you'll be able to set them there. Mm -hmm. And then your colony here can produce fuel and goods Good. whenever those numbers get rolled. Nice. There should be a bunch of number discs in there as uh, well. Number discs. Yes. Here we go. There you go. I was like, yeah, how is that working? If you look on the back of the discs, there's little symbols that match the symbols here. So. Okay. Like so. Okay. So, do do do. I may need a hand. Give me a bunch of them. There we go. There we go. You'll see some have a little filled in spot like so. Those yeah. are the ones you know go to the right other side. Ooh. It's 
how we differentiate the ones and twos. Bah. That's one for out there, out there, out there, in here. You may find some that have like Greek letters on them. And yeah. Those go to uh, the home worlds here at the beginning. Okay. And then that one. Oh, oh here we go. So this goes here, here, and here. Right. There we go. Cool. So I'll just flip these up. Normally, in varying levels of exploration, you might not know what these numbers are at the beginning of the game, um, but for our purposes, yeah, just, just for you guys at home, feel. you can see everything what's revealed. What? Okay. Cool. So what are these little symbols? Here? So if you encounter one of these, this mm. would be an ice planet. Um, you cannot set up a colony there because it's frozen. Um, so you'll see it's got three freight pods. As long yes. as your mothership has three or more freight pods, you can then settle that spot. You would take this uh, okay. disc off, yeah. replace it with a random disc that's over here on the side of the board, probably in another bag there. <laughs> we'll um, find it, we'll get that. More, more things will come out yeah. of that box. Um, and we'll replace with a normal production number, just like a regular. Ah, so you've nice. terraformed this ice planet and turned it into something. Wow, productive. there is a lot. Yeah. And is it, is it the same with these cannons here yeah, as well? Yeah, the cannons represent a pirate planet. So mm -hmm. it's been occupied by space pirates who are, are sort of our nemesis. Um, so you have to defeat the space pirates off the planet, and then you can turn then it back into regular all. battle. Exactly. Okay, so we've got our settlements here. Mm -hmm. What's, what's the rest of these? The rest are, you have upgrades to your settlements, and these are s turning them into spaceports. So you have this shipyard that goes around it, and that I'll, when you have a uh, colony with a shipyard, mm. you can generate new ships. Cool. So the way you get a ship, you would buy it just like anything in Catan you can when you spend to buy a trade mm -hmm. ship or a colony ship you make a choice All right, I'm going to make a trade ship because I want to go meet these aliens uh -huh. and, and get some of their technology um, oh this is cool from them. so you just stick the ship onto the base and then it becomes a thing it's a game within a game and then you put that right next to the spot where you built it oh you've even got it on an angle yeah so it's like flying look at that off. okay so now this this this, this 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 dude here isn't doing the isn't doing the best job at settling. No, it, it um, he's kind of drifted. Must really be. <laughs> thing, yeah, they need resources thing, to live. I'm so like Ron likes to follow rules. There we go. Uh, there you go. Okay, uh, yeah, and uh, he can fly off in that direction. Exactly. There we go. You could build colony ships instead if you wanted to do colony ships, mm -hmm. and that is how you would set up a new colony. So you set off when it lands on a spot. You just say, okay, boop. We're setting up the colony. You take this off, the ship goes back to your supply to turn into a new kind of ship later. Nice. And I think that's everything for the... Uh, for the bits? Yeah, that's all the bits. Awesome. But it's not all the bits, wrong. because no, there's, 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 there's more. The there's still more. Exactly. Okay, so I've got the baubles we've been through. Yep. Ah, pivotal bit. Yep. Wouldn't be Catan ah, if you didn't have these. Without dice. Yeah. So, same like Catan. I rolled a 10. Hey, look, blue gets production. This blue gets a production. Any 10... If you have a outpost next to it, you get colony, stuff. you get stuff. And these are slightly marbled. They got like a galaxy finish on them. Yeah, we they? did. Uh, we decided we, you know, black and white. It's space. It's a lot of contrast. But we added some cool little pearlescent, sparkly bits, and you know, like a nice high quality die. Yeah, lovely. All right. Otherwise, we have in here. I'm seeing ah uh, the friendship markers. Yes. The friendship mark. Uh, when, 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 when you befriend an alien mm -hmm. culture, so mm -hmm. if you're the first person to go set up a, a trade relationship with them, you'll get this marker. The friendship marker oh, is like worth them. two victory points. So oh. if you know Catan, it's like largest yeah. army or longest it's road. Um, if you set up, if I've, this is my friend, and then you put more trading outposts there mm. than mine, then they become your best friend. So my best friend. <laughs> They're basically friends with whoever pays them. The yeah, most. exactly. They're, you know, <laughs> those type of friends. <laughs> awesome. Well, I think, apart from a couple more friendship markers, yep. let's pop them down. Yep. Boopity boop. We've got most of the stuff out now for Catan Starfarers. Just about all of it. There's yeah. still these number discs and the other discs that pop up here. Oh, a couple more number discs. Yeah. Run, there's just so much in this box. Yeah, it's we loaded. Could, it's 
It's chock a block, is what you would say, it's isn't it? Completely. Well, yeah. you'd say you're British, but what would you say? Uh, completely full. Completely full. Yes. Completely full. Well, I've had a blast. You know, I've played it briefly at Gen Con with you. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to playing it a little bit later because we've gone through all the stuff. We've set it up. We've done the, the hub. It's over. We yeah. might as well have the fun now. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, this has been Catan Starfarers, and this is just the front of the box. Sorry, spaceship. As opposed to the whole box, because that's a heavy ordeal. Exactly. But thank you so much. I'm looking forward to playing more. Thanks, David. I appreciate it. You're welcome. See you guys later. Cheers, Bye. Um, this spaceship's getting a beating. Yeah, I know. And that's the good part about these new ones. They don't break. <laughs>